The family of a state police officer is facing another hardship. One year after he suffered a brain aneurysm, he now has a severe spinal cord injury and needs surgery that doesn't come cheap. News 13's Jamie Seymour is live from home with a look at how you can help. Jamie. Kim, following a long stint in the ICU, state police officer Johnny Armijo got back to work and earlier this year noticed he started losing feeling in his feet and legs, eventually having trouble walking. Doctors say it's because of a severe spinal cord injury related to fluid leaking from that brain an aneurysm. Now he has to travel to Denver for a critical surgery. If he doesn't have the surgery, he's at risk of becoming a paraplegic. So he, he right now can barely walk. Last fall, Officer Armijo spent weeks in the ICU after he was diagnosed with a brain aneurysm and it was a long road to getting back into uniform. Since his newest diagnosis, he's off of patrol again and working from home. And while his family is glad to have him safe and working for now, they worry about the future. You know, because it wasn't a job-related injury. Um, so we're, we're still kind of up in the air with that. We don't know where we're going to go from here. They're set to head to Denver for treatment in January. With travel and the treatment, the family expects the cost to run into the thousands of dollars. In the meantime, the New Mexico State Police Association is setting up a GoFundMe to help with the costly medical and travel expenses. The association just canceled its drive through fundraising event for this weekend because of the spike in COVID cases, but they still plan to sell t-shirts to raise funds. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Now, we do have a link to that GoFundMe at alwaysonkrqe.com.